From the days of launching sounding rockets in early 70s, India has travelled a long and difficult road to develop self-reliance in the field of space launch vehicles technology. The know-how and the nuances in this field are closely guarded internationally and have been learned indigenously in a hard way. Crossing important milestones like SLV-3 and ASLV, this road has led us to successful development of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. This veritable workhorse of ISRO has now made 37 continuous successful flights, including important missions like Chandrayaan and Mangalyaan. While we have continued to develop heavy lift and advanced vehicles like GSLV Mark II, GSLV Mark III, the capabilities of PSLV have also been enhanced. This has resulted in upgraded version like PSLV XL and development of its ability to launch multiple satellites in multiple orbits. The PSLV C2 mission launched three satellites. C11 launched 10 satellites. The C-34 mission, launched in 2016, placed 20 satellites in a single mission. The PSLV C-37 mission is very special. In order to utilize its full capacity, the rocket this time will launch 104 satellites. Among its large number of foreign co-passenger nano-satellites, it will inject ISRO's Kartosat 2 series satellite and two ISRO nano satellites, INS 1A and 1B, each weighing around 9 kilograms, into sun synchronous polar orbits. This extraordinary mission has been very demanding for the engineering team and required a lot of care in its design. The orbit determination of the satellites at the point of their separation from the launch vehicle will be carried out using onboard NAVIC receivers. INS-1A and 1B will be separated using the recently inducted ISRO wedge lock separation system called IWL-150. It will take around 1006 seconds for the rocket to reach the orbit. The separation process of all the satellites is planned to be captured using five cameras of the onboard video imaging system and would take 715 seconds to complete. Cartosat is a follow-on mission in the series of satellites, primarily for cartographic applications. The three-axis stabilized satellite is configured with a mission objective of providing spot images in panchromatic and multispectral bands. The imageries will be used for urban and rural applications, coastal land use and regulation, management of utilities like road networks, water distribution, creation of land use maps, change detection to bring out geographical and man-made features. It will also service various other land and geographical information systems applications. The INS-1A and 1B are remote sensing satellites with specific applications. 88 nano satellites, each weighing approximately 5 kilograms called Dove satellites, belong to a US company called Planet and eight satellites called Lima belong to Spire Global Incorporated USA. These satellites are for remote sensing applications. Naif 1 of UAE, Al Farabi 1 of Kazakhstan, Pias of Netherlands and Dido 2 of Switzerland are technology demonstrators while BGU Sat from Israel is for science application. PSLV C-37 is silently standing on the first launch pad of SDSC Shar, waiting to roar and complete this challenging mission. <laughs> 